Aloha. With this video, I wanted to address trollish behavior. I don't really want to, you know, label anybody as trolls or anything because the biggest issue is not so-called trolls who know they are trolls because in that group you have trolls who know they are trolls and trolls who are paid to be trolls. The biggest issue is trolls who are trolls and don't know that they are trolls. So this is um because trolling is is a uh, it's it's an action. It's not a it's not a necessarily it's a it's a expression. It's not really a a person. Like it is not a, it can be personified, but it's not an individual. It's it's more so like when you're talking about a troll, you're talking about what that troll is actually doing. Like you don't like when you're talking about information, like what what's the biggest part of a troll's um, actions it's them distracting from the the message like a troll on a bridge a troll is supposed to keep you from crossing the bridge so a troll doesn't have to look like a troll and smell like a troll and all that other shit a troll just has to act like a troll so i wanted to get around all that bullshit and just explain the actions of a troll so you can understand um, a lot of this stuff, when you interact with them on the comment section too, if you do at all, I, I try to stay away from it, but, um, there are some comments that trolls make that plant seeds for other trolls to add to, and then you can create this troll festivus of, you know, just like celebration of limited thinking and limited perspectives. So, uh, what I was calling this is uh, is like ego learning for the for the unaware trolls ego learning and everybody has done this to some degree um, whether you've done it in individual conversations say when you're talking about flat earth or something you know you can't change anybody right it's up to the individual you can only spark a little something but there is always that little like that little get back to where you're just like ah I just want to say something or you know that they're you know defending something. See, because you've been in that position. So I call this ego learning. And ego learning is really uh, where somebody has been in a particular box of consciousness. And they built this box of consciousness over so long, over so, so, so many months or years or whatever. Um, they've built this box of uh, ego learning consciousness. And that box becomes their empire. It becomes their highest intellect. Uh, it's the limitations of their consciousness. And what happens is it that information becomes their universe. And when it becomes their universe, they have to create a sort of comfort within that universe. And anything that <clears throat> challenges that comfort within that universe now becomes a threat and either they're going to understand what that threat is and possibly and, and possibly see that it's it's something of a bigger universe or they're going to defend the universe that they're used to that they're comfortable with this is the ego defending the certain level of consciousness that you're at so this goes into the um only <clears throat> when you when you understand that the only way you're going to get out of a certain level of consciousness is to learn from a higher level of consciousness. So if you're trying to fight or learn from within the, the, the level of consciousness and you're only going to, it's kind of like politics, like you're, you're not going to be able to address the colonial empire and the system of power and dominance and control by voting for Democrats and Republicans. No, that is the infrastructure of dominance, control, genocide, so on and so forth. So, but the system puts out there, it says, no, you need to vote. That is your power. This is why they say it. Voting is power. Get out there and vote. You're going to see all these commercials coming out very soon. Celebrities back there, you know, doing their, we need to get out and vote. This is your power. This is your chance. Stand up and unite and be a team. Be the America we all know us to be. It's the same shit with this, uh, like, uh, look into Martin Leakey for major truths. Major truths. Like, okay. 
Um, so they all know they, they they have the fucking answers and and it's so like thick in their reality that now that they've seen your information that's a threat to their information they have to now attack you so this is this is like see i share my perspectives my universe on youtube so i put this universe out there and this universe is inherently threatening to people so the people who are threatened by it, they have to attack me by various ways, by being nice or being passive aggressive or just being blatantly like, you're wrong. And the biggest the biggest issues here, and, and, and these are good examples, these comments that I've shared. Um, you can see the anonymous mask with this one guy. He's been around for a while. And he's, he leaves the same comment. You can see it on here. I'll find it. So you have like the anonymous, like the anonymous, like the political people, like they're in that sort of like that Occupy movement sort of thing. They think like we should all come together as one and defeat like as one superhero and defeat the villain. Uh, like so they think race is not an issue is like a non issue. Uh, so, but their whole perspective and approach is based upon politics. So you have that group of people. And it's like anti-politics or, you know, whatever. And then they, they have this um, anonymous mask that's attached to that, that has been given to them by the system. Um, this was one of the first keys I started to realize how how uh, orchestrated the Occupy movement was when, when they started passing around that anonymous mask. And Fox, Fox the, the corporation Fox owns that. Like, it's, it's a, that's why you can't, anyway... So it owns that mask. It's from the V from V from Vendetta mask and that whole thing. <clears throat> so anyway, you have the political trolls and then you have the new age trolls. And then these new age trolls are where are they at? This is a good uh new age troll, uh the infinite center that you know, tells you like, oh, it's not about race. You know, they, they, they want to avoid the colonial story and tell you it's just about the new age. Come together. We're all one. Love and light. So on and so on and so on. Uh, so they'll go on and on and on and on and on about, you know, how race is, of, is basically a non-issue. So white supremacy is a non-issue. The power and control grid that deals with how race has affected the, the indigenous people across the world through colonialism and so on and so forth. It's a non-issue. Uh, because why? Because every race has ab aboriginal roots. White, black, red, green, blue. So this is the dismissive nature that's inherent within ego learning. The dismissive nature has to come out at the pinnacle of your learning consciousness to, d to keep you from going any further. Because your consciousness wants to make sure that you learn that level of consciousness to the umpteenth degree before you move any further. Uh, so in order to do that, it has to get into the deep, dark crevices of your unconscious and subconscious and have you defending something that will ultimately humble you in the long run because you are speaking largely, like for lack of a better term, speaking out of your ass. You're defending something that you have, you know, like you, you're you're knowledgeable of what you're defending, but you're fighting against something that you are ill-equipped to even understand the arena. So it's like asking a <clears throat> a checkers player to play chess. Well, they know how to play checkers. They're they're familiar with the squares on the board and the pieces they move around. Hey, what's the difference? This piece moves here, red and black. You know, that's the same thing as chess, right? Like, no. You're comparing checkers to chess. And when you do that, you're going to fuck it up. So these people are master checker players in their realm of consciousness. And when they get into the realm of chess... They can't understand it, so they they automatically say that you're fucked up, you're wrong, something is wrong with you. So they attack you. So the New Agers attack you with the, I just want to let you know that I love and respect you and 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 what you do, brother. Although I may not show it in the in the expected way. And here we go on the next comment. Where is he at? <laughs> 
right after that, I love and respect you shit. Where the hell is it? Somewhere around here. Fucking clickbait. More like it. You knew what you were doing. <laughs> so the clickbait this person is talking about is this one, I think. Yeah, I'll just want to look. Or maybe this one. Yeah, wait. <clears throat> yeah, this one. Fucking clickbait. No, this was addressed. There is no clickbait in that video because I addressed exactly what I was talking about. <clears throat> but they're so ignorant and pompous in their ignorance, they can't really they can't really see what you're saying. You're literally speaking a language that's of a different universe. So um <clears throat> yeah, the new age, the politic political, and then you have the truther. So this is a good example of a truther, back to the same thing. So the truther is like uh uh, Mark and Patricia and this individual and Martin Leakey, like all these same individuals who ignore other truths. <clears throat> like they're truthers with an asterisk. They're like, eh, we talk about, you know, internet truth. Yeah, we don't really want to go into truth that is of an empowered nature, truth that talks about the, you know, the dirty truth, the truth that has like a. Uh, um, actual blood on it. You know, that, we don't want to talk about that blood. We want to talk about entertaining truth. Come on, guys. You know, truth that's fun. Fun and exciting truth. Get the fuck out of here with your fun and exciting truth. Look into Martin Leakey for major fun and exciting truths about Tartaria and mud floods. See, they want to talk about that Hollywood entertainment shit. So <clears throat> they'll get real intricate about the distractive shit. But as soon as you're talking about, you start talking about the truth of the actual empire. The truth that will break down the empire that gives these individuals who call themselves truthers the privilege to say what they say at the, exp like at the expense of barreling over and mud flooding over your information and your truth. That privilege of... You know, being silent is ignored. It has to be distracted from. <clears throat> you don't think that there are so-called white truthers and white channels that are being promoted on YouTube over non-white channels? Get the fuck out of here. You think, you really think that that's not happening on YouTube? Look at Hollywood. Look at the mainstream media. Who the fuck owns YouTube? Who the fuck owns Google? You think it's different from the people who own the white Oscars, who own the local news, who own the politics, who own Hollywood, who own the, all the governments from the local to the state to the national governments? The White House? Get the fuck out of here. How long will you ignore this shit? So this is what these trolls are, or the yeah, these trolls are defending. Well, they know whether whether they're new age trolls or uh, you know to, with the trolls these these people with trollish behaviors, the either the new agers, the poli the pol the political ones, <coughs> the uh, truthers, flat earthers, whatever it is, they all do the same thing. They're distracting you. Here is another one. We're on the same side when it comes to truth. However, I find this video nearly impossible to get through. I'm not trying to berate you here, understand, but I can't really sugarcoat it either. This video is so full of shifting definitions, undefined premises, contradictory statements, and lofty sounding verbiage with no real meaning that I find that finding a coherent reference upon which to act is impossible. I can foresee someone using this video as fodder for making flat earthers look ra like rambling buffoons, even more so than they already do. To be clear, I'm not calling you a buffoon, but I sincerely think that you need to rethink your ideas and solutions to help the cause by making more succinct and non-contradictory points. I can tell that this was off the cuff, but a smidgen of forethought and planning would have gone a long way. Two thumbs up. <laughs> the fuck, man. 
This shit is disgusting. It's like, oh, man. That's that egotistical arrogance and pompous ignorance that I was talking about within the ego learning. So th this person feels this this sense of he's on the or he or she is on this pedestal of whatever, and then they they go on to your your stream of consciousness and tell you uh, you know like you're, I, now I'm saying this from experience like I used to do this a lot more I still do this in certain little slivers of ways here and there uh, just to like plant seeds here see I do it. Um, on certain things like I'll make a comment one little quick little sliver of a comment on like a Joe Rogan page or something or a Joe Rogan video or something like that or another truther channel <laughs> um, video just to plant a seed to get people so I do it I know that I'm not saying you know don't plant seeds here and there what I'm saying is that there's a there's a there's a seed planting, egotistical sort of thing. And even, I'm not saying that my seed plant, even the sliver, that's an egotistical thing too. I'm saying that too. I know I know that. But what I'm saying is that there's a an entire universe that you get trapped in that that is based upon that. Like your entire, once you, this is what happens. This is what it really is. Um, <clears throat> once you reach that maximum level of your particular consciousness, a box that you're in uh the it starts to leak out it starts to like uh drip out of there onto other universes and and that's still connected to you inside that consciousness so it's really you you know sticking your hand out there or you know putting your toe in the water to challenge yourself and your confidence in your knowledge and your foundation in your universe by challenging other people's universes and then when they come back and say and, and, and you know challenge you so hard out of your own universe then that's when you're either going to grow or you're going to implode and protect your universe <clears throat> so the, what i'm saying is that you know everybody does that to some degree but there's an actual learning pro like a, a, a learning parasite that's what it is it's like an ego learning parasite. The ego learning parasite eventually becomes your eyes, your ears, your nose. It, it becomes that and you can't really process. So it becomes a filter to before it hits your mind. So all these filters that, that these uh, egotistical or learning curve filters, be, when they filter all the by the time it hits your mind it's not really what it was intended to be it's what you desire it to be so you have to defend that desire and that's what they do on these comment sections one of the biggest troll ish behavior people on here are the <coughs> are the uh, religious ones specifically christians uh christian church people um where are they at? I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. They they get in here and then, very similar to the New Age, uh, it's the same same sort of thought. Instead of the Bible, they have their loose sort of prescription drugs of we're all one, love and light shit. And, you know, it's no different than Jesus will save everything. Just go to the Bible. Um, yeah. So you you know how they. You know how the, those trolls <clears throat> interact on here. They they get on here and then they... I don't know why I didn't save. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Child of God. Uh, this is another uh, uh, type of ego learning. Uh, so the, the, the Bible is a, a foundation for ego learning. Because, you know, how the fuck could you go against the Bible if the Bible is your connection to the soul? You know, like, what, you know how hard that is going to be for somebody to do that? Um, <clears throat> so, when you're talking about, you know, on the street, like boots on the ground level type of information that will actually deal with real change in your community, uh, the the religious... The religious mind control program comes into effect. 
So you're talking about real change, like actual change, like stop killing us, stop putting drugs in the community, stop putting guns in the community because of our race. Like that's all we're saying, like on one level, that we're saying a lot more, but we're saying that. And as soon as we say that, somebody with a Bible or church background or, you know, that's threatened by that, <clears throat> they say, racism plantation is getting old, bro. <clears throat> and, and what's their answer? We're all children of God. You know, that, that whole thing is is the same thing like the new age. We're all one. We're all one race. We're all this. We're all that. We're all, you know, Jesus' children or whatever it is. Uh, and, and, you know, when you bring about the real change, like the responsibility. So if you have a connection to, like, and this is not universal, but, you know, if you have a connection to the Bible and some kind of mainstream religion, you know, that's enough. That's what the world tells you. The, the normal thing is just to have that, that gen, that general feeling of a connection to a religion or a God, or it doesn't matter what name it is. It just, you know, have that general feeling. And then when you have that general feeling, you know, that's enough. That's all you have to do. So after that, people either uh, defend it by amplifying what it is that they believe in against you um or they they uh or and they attack you they have to because anybody who thinks differently than them uh in their belief systems in their universe is a threat to their belief system so they have to attack you and tell you that you're wrong so they're not telling you that you're wrong only to help other people like see that you're wrong they're doing it for themselves. They're doing it to convince themselves of how right they are. So the child of God is very right, you know, to this, to himself or herself. Um, when they tell me I'm wrong for saying what I'm saying in this video, trutherism, Owen Benjamin, the psychology, psychology of new world trutherism. <clears throat> I'm wrong for everything that I said in there. You know, you can see how it just gets dried out. Like they really don't. I probably spoke for like an hour, two hours sometimes in these videos, and then you get it shrunk down to racism. Plantation is getting old, bro. Uh, and so that's the extent of their. It, it really shows their ignorance. It really shows how dumb, you know, people really are. Uh, or their lack of intelligence when it comes to how deep these programs go, they they can't re they can't even comprehend how this stuff connects. So <clears throat> this is the comment one month ago. This Jason Hand guy, he left the same exact comment on a video two days ago. Same old Freemasonic dualism, divide and conquer, song and dance, peace. So that's their like, oh, I come in peace. But they're actually dismissing. See, that's that's the whole thing. And look how many um, thumbs up they get. So this is the troll's job. So I don't have to call a troll a troll for them to be a troll. Like they're inherently a troll. They've done their job. They've kept 12 people from crossing the bridge to some degree. This troll has kept 12 people from crossing the bridge if they hadn't left this copy and paste comment, because it is a copy and paste comment. Here it is. That's one month ago. That's the same thing. Where is it at? One day ago, the black, where is it at? The black and white Freemasonic dualism divide and conquer song and dance continues. So... That was one day ago on No Color Frightens Me. The boss of loved ones is the only one I fear. So that's, you know, the God, you know, thing again. So this is that passive aggressive sort of thing again. This is another good one to get to. Let me let me finish this out real quick, though. It's like the passive aggressive, like I'm your friend. And I know, like, some of these people have good intentions. Like, they, they, they really do. And then they just don't know that they say some ignorant-ass shit. Some of people are like that. Uh, and I'll get to that in a second. But some people know exactly what they're doing. So the anonymous... Fit, and, and I went through looking for other comments that this person left. Because they left the same kind of comment on other videos. Um, but it's the same thing, same old Freemasonic. So th their consciousness is based upon the Freemasons. They all they only know duality 
and they, they think that is the peak this this when they leave these comments they're leaving the comment of what the you know their highest perspective is against yours so on on this video which was the i think that was the uh behind the curve video yeah this is the behind the behind the curve behind behind the curve video so i was talking about the narrative controllers netflix and how Netflix is Netflix is designed to same say the same pass the same narrative as the local news, the white supremacy programs, uh, talk only about certain information, certain truths, so on and so forth, <clears throat> in order to distract you. The mainstream media inherently is a troll. It's a troll. The mainstream media, the truther community, the, the new age community, it's it's a troll because it is designed to express trollish behavior to keep you from crossing a certain bridge of consciousness this is what trolls do <clears throat> and they, this is how they do it same old freemasonic dualism divide and conquer song and dance so <clears throat> for other people who haven't really done the research of what dual duality is and divide and conquer and freemasons and see these are all seeds Freemason, duality, divide and conquer, and then it gets dismissed down into song and dance and then closed with the word peace. That's a very specific code that a lot of other people are going to relate to. And that re that relating to it will keep people from going thinking for themselves because somebody else has prepackaged a thought nugget for them to put in their their limited universe as a dismissive nature for the entire two-hour video that they just watched. So somebody's going to watch this whole two-hour video and have it feel some kind of way. And, and they're going to be on a bridge. They're going to be on, like, they're going to be, like, getting ready to cross a bridge and think for themselves. But in order to keep them comfortable, they have to find a comment that keeps them in their own universe. So, because they don't want to do the work, they don't want to think. They don't want to crit largely people. People don't want to critically think because it takes too much work. So what they do is they want to stay comfortable. So they go to the comment section to find out what's comfortable for them, and then they'll smash the fucking like button. And then so this is what happens on here. Same thing with the uh, star gods on here. It's all cultural Marxism. Mark and Patricia are communists. See, that keeps the perspective. I'm not saying that, you know, that's not true to some degree. <clears throat> what I'm saying is that the video is not about that. But these individuals made this video about that. And other people who are of that level of consciousness, consciousness uh, think like that. And they get this nugget and they smash the like button. Boom. That's it. That they, they, they Largely, they stop there. Um, but like I'm saying is that this is how other people keep other people at certain levels of consciousness through their ego learning consciousness that, that because it's a it's a form it's a, it's a way of learning that you have to grow out of that's the main point of this whole video you have to grow out of it everybody learns that way in some degree it's a childish look Ch children learn like this like teenagers this is this is how teenagers learn teenagers think they know everything right people with kids know this teenagers think they know everything but they haven't had the experience in life yet the same way with these fucking commenters and these trolls they haven't had the experience so they are intellectual adolescent uh they, they are adolescent intellect intellectuals uh, so they they <clears throat> they are uh, extremely passionate, very fucking not they're very sharp to some degree. They're they're very knowledgeable of, you know, sophomore sophomore biology and you know junior, you know twelfth or eleventh grade chemistry. They're they're very 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 knowledgeable about that. And, you know, in the politics of high school, uh, you know, boyfriends and girlfriends, and uh, they they think they're grown. So they, they, they attack you or they try to distract from what you're saying to keep the conversation about their high school uh, consciousness. So this is how they keep their, their teams and everything. So you know what I'm saying. <clears throat> anyway. 
Um, and any of the, oh, this is another one. People who have to protect the the biggest box of like flat earth. To some people, flat earth is the answer to the world. They'll get out to the world and they'll start, they'll call it the word. The word of flat earth. Let's get out to the word, the world and speak the word, people. Brother, have you heard? Have you heard the message, brother, of flat earth? And then they get out there. And then, and then when you start talking about how NASA is connected to Nazis and Nazis are connected to racism, white supremacy, colonialism, and the the so-called human story and so on and so forth. And then when you start straying away from the flat earth is the word, and then, then they get insecure and they'll say, everybody plays a part. Meaning Mark, even Mark and Patricia are, you know, right for doing what they're doing and saying what they're saying, totally dismissing the fact that they're being used to push a limited consciousness to put on. I'm not saying that everybody doesn't play a part. What I'm saying is that people playing the part are being used. They're be, they're they're being used, and there comes a part. There comes a point in consciousness where you can realize that hey, I'm being used, and then you will cease to be used anymore. Meaning you will cease to be to that degree. You'll cease to be um, sharing information that is of somebody else's usage. That comes a point. But until then, you'll be defending it. So passive aggressively in many different ways, like this individual says, everybody plays a part, even you. Good job. So that's like this, like the, like this, this guy ends it with peace. And then like another person says, I really love your videos, but I just can't da 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 da. So they're, they're really, you know. Um, trying to convince themselves or trying to be nice. No, look, motherfucker, <laughs> don't try to be nice. That's the whole fucking problem. This whole world has been dominated by nice consciousness. That's the problem. Uh, and we don't need nice. We need people to be real. Stop being passive aggressive and all that other bullshit. And nice is a terrorist act. Fuck you. So, um, <clears throat> I'm reading the other comment now. Tight. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, so, th yeah, I, I think I've beaten that horse long enough. Here's another example. Um, Antonio Subarats is another guy who was like deep into. I think he had like a relationship with Mar uh, Mark, with Patricia at that time. When 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 I was like in the heart, when I was like in the comment section of their live streams, when they were like tip top on the pinnacle, this dude was on their live streams, and he was actually defending. Um, he was talking shit about me in live streams. And in like comment sections back then, like <clears throat> defending Mark and Patricia at that time. And then, you know, all these years pass and they don't say anything about it. They don't fucking apologize to you directly about how they like went at you. Not like I'm asking for it, but they think all this shit just like blows over and that we're all, you know, friends and buddies and shit just because we're, you know, you know, have a common enemy. No. You're still doing the same shit. You're still talking the same shit as them. But they want to be your friends and be like, yeah, man, I'm so... Re oh, I got to do with... <laughs> How's he speaking? In? I think he has like an accent. Yeah, yeah. I can't even get my English accent now. Um, he has a particular... Say, um, mm, mm, it's, like a, it's like this... Oh, let me try to get that accent down. It's just fucking hilarious. Yeah, man. It, it's, oh, it's, I'm so regretful of. No, it's not. It's, I'm, yeah, 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 man. I'm so regretful. No, that's somebody else. Let me just do it in that one because maybe I'll find. I'm so regretful of of, of ever not having. Of, oh shit. <clears throat> I am so regretful, and let me just read it first. I am so regretful of ever having been involved in Glo with Globusters and Steer and those guys. You know who called it long ago, amongst others, Jesse Spots. So I would. Th th so this is another proof of 
Antonio really not knowing what I'm talking about. This ain't got shit to do with who called it and ain't got shit to do with uh, what Jesse was talking about because Jesse is talking the same old bullshit back then as he was saying now. And yes, he may call may have called them on their shit, but he only called them on their shit to a certain degree. And if you're missing out on what that degree is, you're missing out on the point of the video that I'm talking about. So they want to be like, cool. So th this dude is doing is on my channel to look cool. He's not saying to uh, saying this to apologize to me. Otherwise, he's saying this to look cool to other flat earthers. You know, I'm not saying that he's specifically only doing that for that. But to some degree, that exists. Like, get your street cred by being on, you know, the, the, the guy who was calling this shit out way back when. But don't really, you know, acknowledge what the individual was talking about. Just jump on board the bandwagon. The three year, four, almost four fucking year old bandwagon that's been going on quietly, that's been silenced by this very individual who's, who's still trying to silence it by now going by saying like, oh, yeah, very, you know, slickly by transferring it over to, you know, Jesse Spots. So in, in the dismissive nature, <clears throat> this is me taking it deep into, you know, how far the, the distraction, the trollish nature is in these comments. But, you know, this is ultimately what comments do. This is it, it's to, you know, spark you off into another um, thought process or keep you in a particular thought process so what i'm saying is when he says this he shows you the same thing like um of the depths of what i was talking about in that video jesse spots is as far as he can go and and you know just saying that he's he's i'm sure he i'm sure he goes deeper than that i'm sure he knows you know just to, to more of a degree what i'm talking about and is not going to say in the comment section just wanted to say oh yeah this is just about you know you know trying to Create some solidarity, giving this dude the benefit of the doubt, you know, to the to whatever degree that he's a, you know, genuinely trying not to seem like an ass and trying to separate himself from that. But I'll genuinely show you how you're still being a fuckhead by dismissing the information and, and really just still being like egotistical to the umpteenth degree. This ego learning bullshit. And then and then no response after that, probably because he just thinks I'm not going to hear anything. Or really just, you know, maybe he wants to say something. Oh, who cares? Who can, there's an infinite amount of perspectives that individual could be thinking. Oh, here's that, here's that one I was talking about when I shared Bobby Hammett's video. Man, I love your channel. But! <laughs> Please stop listening to old ass pimps and thinking that shit's deep. Automatically. Totally disrespect Bobby Hammett. I'm not even gonna read the read the rest. Yes, I am. Entertaining, but Claude, have mercy. A uh, crying, laughing face with exclamation points. I'm Sicilian, and a lot of us have hair. I have a lot of black friends. <laughs> I have I have a lot of black friends. I have a lot of black blood in me. So I know, I'm qualified to say what I'm talking about. <clears throat> yes, I'm hip to the Moorish race and all that. So just like, you know, the other individuals, you know, related to Freemasonic dualism, divide and conquer. This one relates this to Moorish race and all that. You know, so they have to... Um, Validate, there's a better word. Starts with a C. Corroborate, yeah. I think they have to co co corroborate their beliefs. And they have to do it against your information. So, this is another example. Scott Parsons on the top, on the top another example of another troll. So the other trolls, they do it like re real quick. You know, quick little... You know, comments like this real quick. And then other ones do like these, these uh, big ass, like big, big ones. Uh, and they have to 
<clears throat> share like all this information, but it's really just, you know, saying the same thing. It's just their beliefs. Uh, the love of money runs the deceptive world ages. So that's it. It's that money. Um, a lot of these are Bible, Bible pushers. Where is it at again? I, I'm sure you can find a Christian. There it is. <clears throat> the very language in you are using to communicate is biblical words and phrasing. It is impossible for you to think thoughts that are not biblical because the very words you are using are spirit something. Basically, they're saying the words you are using are biblical. The words I am using predate the Bible because the words that I'm using are not limited by the words that I'm using. The words that I'm using are anchored in something in a non-word, in a non-language that predates the Bible and every piece of language that comes in there. You know why it predates that? Because our souls predate the Bible. And I am speaking from my soul. So fuck you <laughs> and your bullshit. <clears throat> Here it is again, the one day ago one. Um, and then, oh, okay, this is a good way to end it too. So as soon as you call them on their shit and then you bet and then you like, and, and then they, or they've been around for a, a while enough. So, you know, they, this is, uh, I showed you a one month comment uh, from this same guy. They stick around and then they learn for a while and then they humble themselves to some degree. And then when they're still in that consciousness, um, the next step after being, like arrogantly attacking you the next step after that is to once once they lose the power once they lose the uh control because leaving a comment is a power trip to some degree um <clears throat> i'm not saying that i'm separate from that it's a power trip to some degree uh because they leave it and then that's it it's just like i've said it and i'm, I'm done and that's it uh and then when you call them on their shit they if if the power that you bring totally outranks their power and 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 if they're humble enough or if they're arrogant enough which is the same thing they'll open up to what you're talking about and then the sometimes to the extreme they'll become the victim uh because they still want to maintain their their stance and, and, and their, their, their equivalency to the intelligence that you're bringing up. Uh, so if they're the victim, then they're, they're okay for where they were. And now it's your responsibility to help them as the victim to be where you are now. So that's a quick way that the ego has to get around being acknowledged for being an ego. Um, it, it has to, you know, be a victim as the bridge to the next ego trip. So they use the victim consciousness between uh, the ego, ego, ego consciousness. So they go from one ego consciousness or ego learning experience to another ego learning experience. And the way they get there is by uh, either playing the victim uh, or sometimes they are actually, they actually become the victim. This is, this is another way um, <clears throat> Another learning thing that actual shit happens to you in life, and then you're forced to become you know the victim because you are to some degree, say you have a loss in the family or you know you you are the victim of some kind of you know racist racial thing or um whatever it is uh but you know, so you can see how that thrusts you into another universe to where you now have to learn. Well, people who are learning for themselves, they have to fake it until they make it. So they fake play the victim until they learn from that victimhood, which takes, you know, wh whatever it is that they've chosen to learn from. And then they get to another space. But when they fake it, they get to another space. And now they faked, they faked the transition to get to the new space. So what are they going to be when they get to the new space? They're going to have to deal with that fake transitional consciousness, which then develops into a new ego learning experience. And then they do it again. So that's that, that self-destructive cycle that these people get in. And this is where this individual is right now. If, if this individual is any kind of real or right or anything, when they humble themselves, <clears throat> they, they can open up to learning. 
Uh, but you can see how not humble this person was back here when you know a month ago when they're saying same old you know looking look into Martin Luther King for major truths. So basically, fuck your truths. I'm gonna dismiss everything that you said in here. Uh, it's not about what you said. It's about what Martin Luther says. He has major truths. You have uh, some other kind of truth. So that's the arrogance there. And then, what is the arrogance now? Here, same old Freemasonic dualism, divide and conquer, song and dance. See, when you read them back to back, it has a different feeling. See, I read these fucking things back to back. I remember people. And so I read them back to back. And when I respond, that's usually how, how it comes to be. It's because I remember people and I'll say something eventually. So you read them back to back and you hear the dismissive nature over a, a certain amount of time. For this individual, I think it's been a few months now of constantly dismissing what you're saying um, by playing that they're cool. You know, peace, you know, same old Freemasonic dualism, divide and conquer. Basically, fuck you. I'm going to dismiss everything you're saying. It's all just a song and dance. You're caught up in this. This uh self this this self destructive bullshit and peace because you're wrong but you need peace you know what I'm saying so <clears throat> that's what they're doing and they're dismissing everything that you said so when they're dismissing alligator bait they're dismissing colonizers kicking the heads off of indigenous babies uh in in, in Australia they're dismissing the 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 orchestrated attack on a particular people around the world they're dismissing it and they're just calling it freemason duality so the intelligence that's added up to that so all of the healing that needs to come about from people who still believe that that is like people people who dismiss it they they think that the current way of being is the best way to be that the world that we are in right now is the best world that we need to be in. And when they do that, they dismiss what you're saying and they agree with what led up to that. So they agree with alligator bait. They agree with gentrification. They agree with genocide. They agree with colonialism. They agree with stealing the land. They agree with uh, ignoring the story. They agree with putting uh, indigenous people on concentration camps like reservations. They agree with putting guns in the community, the government putting guns and drugs in the community. They agree with the war on so-called war on terrorism. They agree with you being distracted by all this other shit. They agree with the white Oscars. They agree with the white house. They agree with white supremacy. They agree with all this shit. That's what happens when they see they don't they don't say that shit, but that's what they're saying when they dismiss what you're actually saying, because I'm saying all of that needs to be addressed and acknowledged so we can heal from it. See, just saying that we're all one and everything is love and light and race doesn't matter is a fucking band aid on a cancer. And it's for simpleton, simple minded motherfuckers who don't know how to go any further than what they are comfortable with. So they question, they ask questions later on in order to make themselves feel like they're on the same level. They have to bring you down to make themselves feel equivalent to you. How do they do that? By saying, you know, peace, you know, we're on the same, you're, you're just wrong. Okay, so teach me. Please elaborate more. What is this prepackaged mainstream label you are referring to? Who are people like me? This victimized himself again. The real problem, you see, I don't even have a chance to to like to respond and they, and, and they already have an answer. The real problem is so they're not really interested in the questions that they're asking. They're not, they're not interested. They're only interested in making you look a certain way and defending themselves with their own bullshit. <clears throat> Otherwise, they would have really waited for what I was going to respond with. Uh, maybe they didn't think or know I was going to respond at all, but I did. Uh, so anyway, 
point is, this is, this person is, the real problem is, the real problem is dismissive. The real problem is the division bullshit. As a poor person, we're on the same level, we're all the same. Colonialism and indigenous genocide doesn't matter because as a poor person like you and like all the other ones, in the South, really poor, I'm like extra poor, like mega ultra poor white person, there was no division. So that's, that's you know, people, people play this shit in this mainstream race conversation all the time. You know, white people are all, white, poor white people are all the same. We're all the same. So that means, you know, all the shit that led up to, you know, all the slavery and all that shit and all that, it doesn't matter. You know why? Because today we're all poor, we're all the same, fuck you. It's all, it's all, you know, it doesn't matter. Genocide, you know, books written on how you are not even, you're three-fifths of a human being. Ah, uh-huh, fuck it, we're all poor, we're all the same. Um... You being classified as less than human and it's still having effect on people today? Ah, fuck it. We're all the same. I'm poor too. <clears throat> Cartoons and images being made for decades and decades to make you look a certain way. To make you look poor. To make you look dumb. To make you look ignorant. To make you look like an animal. To make you seem less than certain people ah fuck it we're all the same we're all poor right because it's all about the money see when they talk about the freemasonics ah it's the money the jews ah the money don't talk about you know the intelligence behind how this empire came to be ah it's the money the the nazis are in nasa oh then we only have to talk about flat earth we shouldn't talk about white supremacy. Why? Ah, because we're all poor. It's all the same. It's too murky. You don't want to talk about that. It's easy to talk about how level water is. It's easy to talk about how there's no curve of the earth. It's easy to talk about how, you know, the, the crepuscular rays of the sun are, are giving you proof that the sun is you know, local and close and not 93 million miles away. Yeah, let's talk about that stuff. That's cool. It's entertaining. It's fun, man. Don't talk about the dirty, you know. Don't get into the nitty-gritty stuff where people are actually going to empower themselves. Ah, it's too much. The real problem is division bullshit. As a poor person in the South, there was no division. We weren't poor whites and poor blacks that didn't intermingle. Mingle. We were just poor people on an equal playing field, just like today. We're all just poor people on an equal playing field. There is no racism. There's no white supremacy. That has no effect. Hundreds of years of information that says that white people are the evolutionary peak of humanity and black people are the evolutionary garbage of humanity. That has no effect on us today. Why? Because we're all poor. If, and this is what they're real, really saying. So when we become not all poor, Everything will be okay. This is why the, this, the, the story has to be maintained on money. The Jews, the Jews are connected to the banks. The banks are connected to the colonial power. The colonial power is connected to the ultimate colonial, the, 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 the uh, spiritual warfare, the, the psychological warfare, the physical warfare. So keep the story on the money. Talk about the Freemasons. Talk about duality, uh, but only talk about you know duality race relating to race. Don't talk about duality relating to energy. Don't do that. Talk about duality relating to race, and then if you leave it on race, then you can leave it on how uh, the system uses race, and then you can say that's the information. That's the story that needs to be told. Is the story that shouldn't be told. 
that the, the story that shouldn't be told, that shouldn't have been told, which was told by the colonial mind controllers. So the story about race is not a story about how powerful you are based upon how, how different we are, the beauty, the beauty in our differences. No, it's not about that. It's about how we have been separated by race and that we um, are all one and that's it. You don't need to go any further than that. And if you go any further than that, then you are going, you are doing the, what the system was doing to separate us. So you're a bad guy. Yeah, you're a bad guy. So say goodnight to the bad guy. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, we were all poor. It's all about money. So when these individuals get money and other so-called black people who are also in the same consciousness of we're all poor, we're all white and black, and we just need to not be poor and everything will be okay. When they get their not poorness, then the world will be healed. The, the, they, they, they think that it is. They'll think, they'll, they think everything is okay. So uh, this is another comment. No color frightens me. The loss love of loved ones is the only thing I fear. So this is the deflection from the race conversation. It, it's not about you being afraid of black people. See, this is on a Bobby Hammett uh, video. Uh, it's not about the color. It's not about that. It's about the fact that the system created a monster through people, a particular group of people. It's not about you individually, teenager. It's not about you. Adolescent minded people. It's not about you. They can't even comprehend it. See, this is how teenagers in high school think. They have to personalize everything. That's why everything is so depressive all the time. Oh my God. Susie. Susie told Sally about Stephen. And Stephen. Stephen told. Stephen told Zachary about, you know. <laughs> All this fucking talk. It's all personal. It's all bullshit. So they, 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 uh, they can't comprehend the macro story. So in order to distract from... See, see, people have internal trolls that need to distract them from deeper issues because troll consciousness <laughs> is trying to take over. It's the troll parasite. The it, it's trying to take over. It's trying to stay, stay. <laughs> I was gonna sing the song. It's trying to stay alive. So what they'll do is they'll 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 constantly avoid what you're talking about and make it personal. And got shit to do with your micro interpretation. Of what's going on? This is about the macro storyline. Uh, so other people are gonna agree with that. They're gonna be like, yeah, no color frightens me either. I'm only afraid of losing loved ones too. Yeah, see, we're all cool. We're all the same. <laughs> and then, yeah, so this is about the power. Um, people who play dumb, uh, it, they, they get something for playing dumb. White people who ignore white supremacy get white privilege from playing dumb. Whether they are consciously playing dumb or unconsciously playing dumb, it doesn't matter because they get the same. It's like getting a check in the mail. White so-called white people are getting a, a a white supremacy check in the mail every day. It's called gentrification, uh, white privilege, Hollywood. You know, walking out of your house without being labeled. You know, driving without having to worry about. You know, you know. I had. <clears throat> uh, I was talking to a lawyer one day about something and. Uh, you know, you can see how they were, you know, how they think and then how, how the whole system thinks and how, why does, you know, why, why does the system attack people a certain way? Well, it's accepted in the lawyer consciousness. They're, they're okay with it. They accept. So like your, the, the cop in many ways is valid for pulling you over because you have uh, a scarf on your head and you look black or you look brown you look like a drug dealer like so like 
Uh, they have a reasonable, so they use reasonable doubt. They call that reasonable doubt, but they don't use that. Like this is this is the point. Like reasonable doubt in uh, another car, another person, another issue is not the same reasonable doubt for for somebody else. Like instantaneously, a, a darker skinned person with a rag on their head is going to get pulled over in the same car for the same reason. Uh, say, you know, they had a headlight out or something, then, you know, 90% of the times uh, a so-called black man with, you know, a rag on his head and glasses on or something is going to get pulled over for something. Whereas in the same car, in the same issue, in the same situation, uh, a white person that has, you know, regular glasses on and, you know, just looks regular is not going to get pulled over. And it's, in fact, what what's what's even more of an issue is <clears throat> that individual is not going to get treated the same way. That's the main point. Because of the pre-planted mind controls that stem from hundreds and hundreds of years of demonizing our people. That's why it exists. And that's the issue that I'm talking about. It's not the, 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 the Freemasonic duality. That is a subcategory to the bigger issue. The bigger issue is what's literally adding up to what's happening on the streets today. What I just explained to you. I can't walk down the street. I can't drive down the street the same way other people can because of the way I have been typecasted over hundreds and hundreds of years by this empire. And people are dismissing that. People are saying, ah, oh, that's not a real thing. It doesn't matter. It, it doesn't. And all the other people are saying it doesn't exist because they, they don't experience it. It's, it's not even in their comprehension. They can't even fucking perceive having to walk out of the house as soon as soon as soon as you step out of the door. And even beyond that, you're not even safe in your own house for people who don't know this. And I'll end it on this video. You're not even safe in your own house. There was a fucking guy who was in his house and a cop walked into his house. A white lady cop walked in, supposedly walked into the wrong house, walked into the wrong house and shot this guy in his house. Shot and killed a so-called black man in his house. What was his name? It's right at the tip of my tongue. This thing started with a B. Or an M. Uh... Anthem, 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 anthem. I can't remember it. Um, it's there though. But the, the the point is, you're not even safe in your own house. You'll get shot in your own house if the system, if the empire comes in your house. Why? Because the fear is there. So that fear that added up, that that those implants, that monstrous mentality, that was implanted into her to make her shoot and kill that man. In his own house. Is what we have to deal with every single day. When we go out to the grocery store. When we pump our gas. When we go to the supermarket. When we pick up our kids from school. When we drop off our kids at school. When we have parent teacher conferences. When we walk by you on the street. When we're out at the bar. When we're working. When we're on our break. When we're on the freeway, when we're on vacation, when we're in the airport, when we're voting, when we're, shit, I don't know anybody who votes, but you know what I'm saying. You never have to deal with this shit for the you to do that, that I'm talking to right now. The people, they don't never have to deal with this shit ever, ever. Their whole fucking lives, their whole lives and from birth to death. Never, 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 ever, 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 ever for the umpteenth degree. We have to live with this shit every day. Not as like a victim sort of thing, as an acknowledgement of we're okay with this. We're, not as a victim. We know. We know. This is why it's fucking laughable to us. So don't play the whole victim thing now like, oh, you're just playing the victim too. No. We've been okay. This is why we laugh at this shit. This is why it's so joking. This is why... People like this individual can't not 
they can't even comprehend Bobby Hammond because Bobby Hammond is one of those ones who already is on the space of we we already know that this shit is laughable. We're going to tell you like it is. Fuck you and your fake ass feelings. You have illusory feelings. People defending that empire have illusory feelings. They're illusions. People are protecting their illusory feelings by dismissing where you're coming from. So <clears throat> this individual, Rajna Kwasip, I think that's how I pronounce it right, uh, broke it down very well. You'll never understand deeper perspectives as long as you remain reactionary like that. Don't personalize the information that will only make you emotional. And then this person responds, everything is a personal experience as we are personally experiencing them. So did this individual even listen to what was said? They, they can't even comprehend that. This, this is an individual who is in that defensive troll consciousness. They have to defend. They're automatically, it's about defense, offense, defense, offense, defense. That's checkers. Checkers, one move at a time. It's offense, defense, offense, defense. They're not really looking. It's one, one, you can only move one way. They have no depth. So when you bring up, and like I emphasized it in my comment, Rajna, Rajna de emphasized it in, in, in his or her, his comment. And then I emphasized it even more in the video and, and, and it still can't get through to this individual. They respond with everything is a personal. Experience. So, you know, is that, you know, is what this individual said a not truth? No, of course not. That's true. Of course, everything is a personal experience as we are personally experiencing them. But that's just banter. It's just like uh, fancy new age talk. For what? For what? It's like, so what? Yeah. But you, you, that's distracting from the actual point that's being made. You're not really addressing the point. You're just running from the issue. <clears throat> and then this individual knows that they didn't respond. So they have to say, now, what should we do with the knowledge if not to react to it? So that's victimizing themselves again by playing to be you know, interested in what you're talking about, but they already dismissed it by telling you experience is experience because I'm experiencing it. You know, they already dismissed you, but now they have to play like they're right and on the same level, bring you down again. So they question you with their limited frame of consciousness question to bring you down so that they can have another opportunity to bring themselves back up. So Rajna says again, there is a difference between a micro experience and the macro experience. If you really want to have an understanding, then process the information. That is completely separate from reacting to it. So he just explained again um, what what this individual was doing. And then he responds, he responds again. That makes sense. And I always try to process the information before reacting. See, this is them. So the victim program is so deep they can't even acknowledge that that they are, you know, being weak minded in that moment right there. So they have to play the victim. This person is saying this for the benefit of themselves, being the victim to the victim to themselves. Oh yeah, I try, but sometimes I just can't because I'm such a victim of reacting that I just can't get out of it. It just happens. This is what this person just said right now. That makes sense. And I always try to process the information before reacting. But you know, you know what happens a lot of the times is that when I try, I try really, really hard and I just can't help but reacting. I don't know what the problem is. Oh. So <laughs> they say, what is the deeper meaning of this video that I seem to be missing? So they're still being arrogant pricks, even in their victimhood. They're like, <clears throat> let me say this right. What is the deeper meaning of this video that I seem to be missing? Because I obviously don't know what you're talking about. There's a deeper meaning? Prove it to me! Ha! Huh. 
Get out of here with your deeper meaning. I have the deeper meanings. It's about Freemasons and duality. And we're all the same, okay? We're all the same. <laughs> this is how you got to read comments. Because this is how trolls talk in their minds. See, they don't hear it in their mouth. This is how they think in their minds. <clears throat> so, yeah, shit makes my throat hurt even talking like that. So, yeah, that that's this was a good example of, you know, the the evolution from egotistical arrogance to um, becoming the victim. Uh, this person has been viewing my videos for a while now, some time now. Um, See, so be pretty cool, but this is what I'm saying, like, over the comments, but what I'm saying is that th th there's a, a unconscious dismissive nature that is existing in people that is um, equally as fucked up as all the other ones, and it's really, like, it's disgusting. It's the same kind of effect. Like, there's much work and energy and thought that I put into these videos um, to put together a stream of perspectives that <clears throat> you know point to a deeper meaning to help people get to that point and think for themselves and then once I'm done I'm like yeah man people people got it they they going to get it and then when once I'm done I get a comment like this and it's like yeah I hear what you're saying but what about this and then when they say their but and their what about this, their what about this actually dismisses their ability to hear what you're saying. So they didn't really hear what you said. They dismissed it. <clears throat> and they don't know a lot of the times that they're being dismissive because they're still in that space of learning. But they're in a space of ego learning and they don't really know what that is and what that is. Know how to get out of that. Um, so they only speak from their perspective. So this individual says, based on the lamestream media, which is like, yeah, we're cool. We're on the same team about, you know, how fucked up the mainstream media is. Um, and then they says, they say, there sure does seem to be some sort of play to indoctrinate the masses. Okay. How many words do you need first of all you don't need that many words to understand that the mainstream media is out there to indoctrinate the masses so if you need to say all that you're already like trying to convince yourself you ain't trying to convince me that's for you um yeah it seems to be some sort of play to indoctrinate the masses demonizing so-called white people <clears throat> so before we even have the opportunity to understand, understand, and overstand the intelligence that has put so-called white people on a pedestal, the victimhood of so-called white people and so-called truthful or truther or, um, um, you know what I'm saying, that group of so-called white people before we even get to speak about the stories that we're talking about like the the actual essence of this video before we even get to address the video like let's say this this video was a conference right <clears throat> imagine how many people are on this? 13,000 almost 13,000 subscribers on it. imagine 13,000 people in an auditorium or in a movie theater 13,000 people in a movie theater and I spent an hour saying this video sitting on a chair talking to people in a theater and I, I I spent an hour you know freestyling this whole video as soon as I'm done Sean Fairley stands up and says <clears throat> what's up subtle what's your thoughts on so-called white genocide after all of the indigenous genocide hour and hours and hours and hours like all the hours of colonial information and talk that i'm talking about now, now i'm saying this is what i'm saying <clears throat> i'm 
I'm not saying that this individual is consciously trying to distract from that. What I'm saying is that they're unconscious distracting from the actual storyline is equally effective and equally dangerous because it has the same effect is to distract you. <clears throat> so this is like the ultimate distraction, the ultimate and I, I would assume that this individual, based upon previous comments, that this is just in, uh, for, for first and foremost, not to distract from what I'm saying, genuinely interested in what's what, what, what the question is about, but unconsciously extremely dismissive and just like doesn't even need to be, you know, this is not the time for that shit. It's not the time to be talking about this because this is why. Not to dismiss so-called white genocide if there's a white genocide going on that I'm totally unaware of. <clears throat> not to dismiss that. But to say, once you start understanding, understanding, and overstanding genocide as a whole, getting to the origins of genocide itself, getting to the origins of power itself, you will eventually make your way up to the standing, it, just believing or, or just listening to what this, and to say this individual is completely spot on, that there is a white genocide going on. Let's say that there is, and I haven't gotten there yet. Once you get from the origins up through the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years to today. And then there's another kind of genocide going on. Like I said, give this individual the benefit of the doubt. <clears throat> you already understand what's going on with so-called white genocide. But by you asking that question right now, before we even get to the issues I brought up in this video... You are being an unconscious troll. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. You're being an extremely, this is the pinnacle of trollish behavior. It's the pinnacle of trollish behavior. And I, I, and like I'm saying, I'll say it again because I don't want to come down too hard. This, this person is obviously just asking a question. But the trollish consciousness is is being uh, expressed. And that is what I'm talking about. Needs to be brought up and called out immediately. Uh, and this is what I did to focus on and emphasize that. Because this is a reoccurring theme that is not only um, distractive, but fucking disgusting and dangerous. It, it just like I put a lot of fucking work into these videos. There's almost a thousand videos on here and all of them are pretty much saying the exact same thing from a different perspective. All of them. <clears throat> it's to push the issue to get to deeper issues, to get to the core, get to the origins and stop celebrating about like, you know, the, the, the subcategory truth that you've consumed yourself with. Get to the power grid itself. And, and every t every video is to help people get closer to that power grid. And, and as soon as I put a video out there getting people closer to that power grid, there's a dismissive comment, whether it's conscious or unconscious, like this. Uh, and, and like I said, this person just asking me, this is my response. This is, this is my thoughts these are my thoughts on on what that individual actually asked me that these are my thoughts so i'm not running away from it this is my thought right now when other thoughts need to be made about that then i will i'll get to that but right now this is this is the thought because this thought is addressing so-called white genocide stop institutionally killing us their response is all lives matter Black lives matter. All lives matter. There's nothing happening to you particularly. We're all poor. All lives are poor. 
And then I'm saying we need to acknowledge the standing genocides of our people around the world by this empire. We need to acknowledge everything and, and go through it and really dis because because you're going to disassemble the power. You're going to disassemble the foundations of the empire once you do that and simultaneously heal people. People just think I'm just going to I'm just bringing this information up just to, you know, you know, be an asshole. What the fuck? What the fuck is wrong with people? <laughs> like, you really think I'm going to put all this time and effort just to be a jerk? Get the fuck out of here. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. We need to acknowledge the genocides of our people around the world. All genocides matter. What about white genocide, huh? Come on. You're always talking about black people and indigenous people and how they are being killed. But what about white genocide, huh, huh, huh? When are you going to talk about that? So you got to read it like that. You got to hear it like that. And, and people have to hear me read it like that so they can hear themselves. And I know, I know that the end of it, I'm taking it to the extreme so people can see this because this is how people read this shit too. Other people who are going to, you know, you know, hour, uh, hours, days and months and years down the road, how many likes and likes and comments are people going to, uh, you know, add to this, you know, because they agree with this distraction. They were like, yeah, he never talks about white genocide. This guy's fucked up. Something's wrong with him. You see what I'm saying? This is, this is what the fuck happens. <laughs> oh, and here's another example of the new age. The new age, uh, trolls. So yeah. This person says, give it up. The earth isn't flat and Bashar would not even, would not lie. Oh, he said not die even if it was. Yeah, Bashar would not lie even if it was. Told him to go suck Bashar's ninth dimensional dick on the Gaia channel. Because that's what it is. Like these people are defending, like he's defending, he's defending the Gaia channel or Bashar, and I'm like I'm not even talking about that. This is this is about the origins of channeling. You see that they gotta go back, yeah. So all these people, all this shit, like uh, Owen Benjamin, he's designed to do the same thing. He's out there. He he he's he's out there to push that midstream to co-opt what you're talking about. Like the white genocide question, <clears throat> he's out there to what you, to co-op what you're talking about and then channel it into his box of consciousness. And since he has the pull of Hollywood and you know all that influence, he's gonna take all that influence and bury your information, bury your perspectives under his perspectives. That's the intention of Hollywood and Hollywood politics. This is why Owen Benjamin is out there. This is why it's so difficult for people to talk about, um, you know, certain people and certain groups because, you know, how are you going to talk about, how are you going to talk about, how are you, it's, it's difficult. Like it's a very fail safe in many different ways for certain, certain people, um, it's very comfortable for people to stay in, you know, that, you know, yeah, he's a good guy. He's talking about what he's talking about, too. But, you know, so it's, he's out there to make people people feel comfortable with a limited frame of consciousness. He's out there to make people feel. And, and same thing with uh, Alex Jones and Joe Rogan. He, they're out there to make people feel comfortable with the slave consciousness, with the limited consciousness, by, with, with not addressing the power itself. Same thing with all these truthers and new agers. They are out there to make people feel comfortable with not addressing the power as a whole. And there's many different ways to do that. And that's what the language of trolls is designed. It's designed to do that. That's, that's yeah, anyway, I'll leave it on that note. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for the support. Until next time, from all my relations, peace, love, and harmony.